I thought my life was over. I'll never make it to my 20th birthday. Once a junkie, always a junkie. I look at myself in the mirror, it just feels sick. If it wasn't for Teen Challenge, I wouldn't be alive today. I would not be here today, I would be dead. Teen Challenge actually saved my life. Once I was blind, but now I see. It's dramatic as day and night. We've heard mothers say, I have my son back. I have my daughter back. Children have their moms and dads again. This is a place where miracles happen, and my family is one of those miracles. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, is a new creation. The old is gone, the new has come. Teen Challenge, 50 years of miracles. <laughs> in the United States, there are now over 200 Teen Challenge locations. Many times family members will ask, well, what, do you, what, what is a day like in Teen Challenge? What will my kids do? Students will generally begin the day at Teen Challenge with breakfast and devotions, and then attend specially designed classes. Teen Challenge has a curriculum that we've developed over the last 50 years that really helps them disciple them to figure out how to have relationships with others as well as to get to know themselves. Many centers offer special educational work programs at either their own training facilities or in the local community. Our car wash, I have people with a bank who comes to me and says, what do you do to those guys at the car wash? I said, what do you mean? He says, I've never been to a place like it. Besides being, you know, clean, I said, I've never seen so many happy people. And I said, oh, well, no, those are all drug addicts in rehabilitation. What? On-the-job training helps students learn interpersonal and technical skills. It develops discipline and reinforces responsibility. It also serves to encourage students to become active in their own treatment, as well as foster the habits that are needed for stable lives. I've always said a good faith-based evangelical rehab program is a little bit like a home, a little bit like a church, a little bit like the army, and a little bit like a Bible school. The student's day may end with personal recreation. They might spend time on their daily assigned chores around the center, attend group choir practice, or take time to study and complete their homework. As Teen Challenge has grown over the years, so has its range of programs. New and innovative concepts, like the Home of Hope, allow women and their children to live together while they begin to heal their lives and relationships. I would have him laying in the crib right there and I would turn my back and stick a needle in my arm and I thought that that was the way I was to live for the rest of my life. I didn't think that I could ever stop. When I see a mom come in with a, a young child uh, and this child has been battered and abused and her mother was out there addicted, prostituting herself and now here at Teen Challenge they've fallen in love with God and the mom falls in love with her child all over again. 2006 would be the um, first Christmas that I spent completely sober with my daughter and my son and um, got to actually spend quality time and quantity time with them interacting with one another and their mom was completely sober. The program has continued to grow to meet the needs of communities. Today, drug prevention strategies like after-school programs aimed towards at-risk youth are as much a part of the Teen Challenge Ministry as rehabilitation. What you're experiencing is hope because so many of the kids who live in our neighborhood don't have a lot of hope. In this square mile radius, we have around 80, 90 gangs. The kids see the helicopters at night. They hear the gunshots. And most of these kids adapt in a way where they have to become cold-hearted themselves. And I don't want to go to another funeral. I don't want to see another kid suffer that kind of fate. Teen Challenge, this is where we, where we show the compassion. Most of these kids, they don't never hear, I love you until they come here. And so this is a safe haven. It has a table that they can actually work on to do homework and actually plan and dream about a future. We help them with their homework, but we also bond with them. We let them know where we grew up and that they can do it too if we're doing it as well. But more important than the curriculum or classes, programs or training, is the foundation of every Teen Challenge program in the world. The Jesus factor is the change factor of Teen Challenge. You know, without the intervention of Christ, there's no hope for these people. They're gonna end up dead. We can give them the food, uh, we can put the clothes on their back, uh, we can give them a haircut, but that only goes so far. We believe that Jesus Christ is the answer and the cure for people's life controlling issues. In the 
this program, God teaches us to be broken. And when we start to fall back, it's because we try to put ourselves back together. I thought I had all the answers. And I found out that I don't have all the answers, that Jesus Christ has the answers. I'm a better mother. I'm happy to um, be here. Um, I was dying before I came into the program. I thank God for bringing me here today. I thank you for the restoration he's done with my family. And all these men up here have been through the war, but the battle's been won thanks to Jesus Christ. There are times when I look around and I don't see much evidence of God at work. But then I see the lives that are transformed at Team Challenge and that helped to dispel my doubts and restore my faith. They were dying and all of a sudden they came to life and they started to be the boys that I brought up, the little kids that I went to Disneyland with. Just seeing one life changed. And uh, in meeting some of the young people we have as they've come into the program and how they look, and then see them when they finish the program, that is the most rewarding thing. Thank you for helping change and mold our child. We've heard mothers say, I have my son back. I have my daughter back. And I thank you that you gave my son another chance.